Technology is changing our world faster than ever before. Artificial intelligence, machine learning, blockchain, the internet of things, it all looks so promising for innovation, productivity, and growth. But as a current high school student, I am worried that I've already been left behind. Last year, I began subscribing to tech blogs and newsletters. And I noticed that every day, innovation and technology advance faster and faster. So I wanted to learn more about artificial intelligence. But AI courses were just not offered in my public high school. So my only source of learning was from the bits and pieces I could uh, pick up from paid online sources in my spare time. Last year, I conducted a survey surrounding AI awareness in high school. And I found that most high school students don't know much about AI. In fact, 40% of students didn't even know that they use AI in everyday applications, such as their Google searches, Siri, or Amazon and Netflix recommendations, even. Furthermore, two thirds of high school students didn't even know what courses they would take if they wanted to pursue an AI related career in the future. This survey clearly showed that there is a low amount of awareness of AI in high school students. So I would like a show of hands for all the high school students in the audience if you can tell me what the difference between artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning is. No one? OK. <laughs> well, what about a show of hands for everyone in the audience who would want to learn more about AI? In the school survey, we actually found that 92% of students wanted to learn more about artificial intelligence, but just did not have the resources to do so. In 2008, I founded an AI club at my high school with my friends. We're actually the first high school AI club in Canada. And we provide opportunities for students to learn more about AI basics. Over this past year, artificial intelligence awareness in my school has greatly increased. We've also done a whole bunch of cool projects, such as facial recognition through Snapchat filters. But to focus more on what high school students demanded in the survey, which was to connect them with university professionals and industry leaders in AI ex through experiential learning. I co-founded a nonprofit, AI for Youth Canada, last summer. In 2018, we held our first AI national conference, where over 350 youth from across Canada attended. During the conference, I noticed a recurring theme. High school students are fearful and worried about their AI future. They ask questions like these. How do you know AI is not a threat to humanity yet? Or should I be concerned about whether AI will be taking over my job in the future? But where do these worries come from? It is simply because high school students do not know enough about AI. We do not feel prepared for our future. But what limits high school students from learning more about AI? I have observed three challenges. The first is that in school, there are no AI courses being taught, and teachers are not well prepared with enough AI knowledge. The second is that outside of school, many high school uh, there aren't any online AI high school courses or at those that are specifically designed for high school students. And thirdly, hands-on learning opportunities with professionals and industry leaders are very limited. But what is the best way we can promote AI learning in high school students? I noticed that even after a few hours at a conference and a one-hour tour of a university AI lab, many high school students felt that the knowledge they gained helped them demystify AI and relieve some of their worries of the future. So what if we were to open fundamental AI courses in the high school curriculum? This is so much more than the extent in which nonprofit organizations like AI for Youth Canada can reach. Opening AI courses in the, or in the high school curriculum, and ideally even in elementary school, is the fundamental solution to increase AI awareness in high school, as well as keep high school students updated about rapidly changing technological advancements. But what if I don't want to be a programmer, or if I don't want to be an AI expert when I grow up? Why should I learn AI? Well, the answer is simple. 
everyone needs basic AI literacy. In the 1920s, literacy was to read and write. But in 2019, literacy is to understand and deploy AI. Most high school students will be entering the workforce in five years or so. And the majority of teenagers won't be committing to an AI-related professional job. But it doesn't matter what field or career we enter in. Because every, each of us needs to understand that AI is a driving force behind every sector of our life. For instance, if you are a financial analyst, you need to know about uh, the changes and breakthroughs that AI has made in your industry. Uh, for example, how is blockchain used in credit systems? As a lawyer, you need to be aware of Ross, our first artificially intelligent attorney. So the point is that it doesn't matter if AI is just a daily tool or if it indirectly or directly affects your job. You must be AI literate. And more importantly, you need to know how to use it and control it. AI and technology impact all of us. But why should we focus on high school students? At the AIF Youth Conference, I was actually shocked by one of our speakers, Tiao Wei, shared. He is the CTO of Circle Cardiovascular Imaging, a tech company that deploys artificial intelligence in diagnosing cardiovascular-related diseases. He says that Circle has a pressing need for AI talent and is struggling to find qualified people. But in my mind, I thought AI-related jobs would be something that new grads would be fighting for. But in reality, Circle is growing very fast, and it needs around 30 to 40 new engineers every year. However, it was only until last September that the very first machine learning or machine intelligence undergraduate program started in Canada at the University of Toronto. And moreover, this program only has, takes around 40 students or so. As a result, Circo has resorted to relocating people from other provinces. According to the Canada Information and Computer Technology Council, by 2021, around 200, over 200,000 jobs will be needed in the digital talent demand. However, in 2015, there were only around 30,000 students graduating with a degree in technology-related, or a technology-related degree. This is a terrifying gap to meet our labor market demands. This gap, on the surface, it, se it seems to require that universities and education facilities uh, like open and scale up their undergraduate programs. But the, the truth is that the root behind the issue is that we need to focus on high school students. In recent years, I noticed that very few of my peers um, have decided to go into tech-related or AI-related uh, majors when applying for universities. A recent report by the uh, Journal of Science, Education, and Technology found that uh, when students grow older between the grades 5 to grade 11, they become less and less interested in science and technology. Moreover, many students only choose to pursue a STEM-related career because of the flexibility in career options, and not because they're actually interested in the course. Oftentimes, students are bored of STEM courses. So what is the f fundamental solution to this issue? The fundamental solution is that we need to focus on high school students because high school is the best time when we, when we can boost AI talent in teens as well as enhance tech education before students uh, make up their minds on what future careers or majors they want to enter. Well, let's look at what a good fundamental AI course would look like. First, it needs to uh, cover basic AI literacy uh, skills. So, for example, how uh, how it's used for non-coders, and how we understand the big data that we generate every day. It also covers softer skills, such as computational thinking, problem solving, creativity and collaboration skills. And moreover, it should teach students how to 
build and use an AI in an ethical way. Secondly, this AI curriculum should cover uh, hands-on learning projects. Hands-on learning projects are one of the most effective ways to boost AI interest in, uh, or boost high school interest in AI. For myself, I've innovated, or I'm starting to innovate a parking lot gate control system using pattern recognition and machine learning. This is super exciting for me because I get to try different and new innovative technologies to try and solve a real world problem. This story might sound very inspiring, but stories like mine, or projects like mine, just are not happening in high school. We must incorporate hands-on learning projects if we want to fuel high school students' interest in artificial intelligence. But before we incorporate fundamental AI courses into the high school curriculum, are there any alternative ways to help our high school students learn more about AI? Well, how about an online learning platform designed specifically and tailored specifically for our high school students? Wait, you might be thinking, oh, why don't we just use already existing courses, such as Udacity, Udemy, or Coursera? But this new online AI uh, curriculum or online AI plat learning platform will have three key things that are necessary and, and make it different. The first is that um, it will be a curriculum-like systematic learning process. And the second is that it'll suit the academic level of high school students. So it wouldn't include things like university math and advanced coding. And lastly, it will ideally be free because I believe that every high school student deserves a chance to be AI literate. Although this new endeavor may be a new challenge for our education experts, this is imperative and absolutely necessary, and it will be achieved sooner than a curricular reform. The fulcrum to engaging more teens in AI and the driver behind a more well-equipped workforce lie in the education of our high school students. But AI literacy education for youth has been left far behind, and now it is imperative to act. When you leave this hall today, I hope you take away three main ideas. We need to open fundamental AI courses in the high school curriculum, develop an online AI learning platform specifically for high school students, and provide more hands-on learning opportunities for our high school students with universities and professors. My hope is that together, we can all do more for our youth to solve the issue of AI literacy. Thank you.